Let's see how fast she really is. Ready? <laughs> There is only one of these cars in the world and it's here right now. We're at a private airport here in Germany just so that we can take a look at this car. We're gonna drive this today on this airstrip. It's gonna be crazy. All right, let me show you what we have. Ready? I promise you've never seen this car before in your life. First time for me. Thank you. All right, guys. This is the Maybach Accelero at a cost of $8 million. The coolest thing about this car, you guys, is that the entire car was built around the tires. Listen to what this sounds like. This is a V12 big turbo Maybach engine. Seven hundred horsepower. Okay, we're just putting the side mirrors on at the moment. We have to take them off to get uh, the car off the truck. It's been so secret. It, um, it's been kind of in hiding. Like if you go on Google and type in this car, then you will find a handful of articles. There's been a lot of rumors about who the owner is of this car. And we have actually been invited by the owner here to see it, uh, just so we can film it here on the Supercar Blondie channel. So a massive thank you to Mechatronic. You guys rock. It's a private collector here in Germany. This is the Accelero tire, you see it here. This was made by the tire manufacturer Fulda. And Fulda wanted to specialize in tires that uh, could support really heavy, fast cars. So they were like, right, well, how are we gonna, how are we gonna prove that our tires can work on a heavy, fast car? Let's build one. So they approached Maybach and they said, hey, do you wanna build a car around our tires and maybe it was like well yeah sure <laughs> why not so that's what they did and they came up with this concept only one in the world if you've been watching my channel for quite some time you know that i cover quite a lot of concept cars the special thing about this is it's a concept car but unlike a lot of other concept cars this one has achieved a top speed of over 350 kilometers an hour this is a real car it has a it has a very powerful engine it can go really fast i mean this was 350 kilometers back in um 2005 this is when the car was built 2005 so that's over over 14 years ago and it was achieving top speeds of 350 kilometers an hour on a heavy car this car weighs 2.8 tons now you think about um like a general supercar like a lamborghini hurricane this car weighs over twice what a Lamborghini Hurricane weighs, like a typical, you know, supercar. At higher speeds, these spoilers come out. So there's one here on the left, one in the center here, and one here on the right. You can't control them uh, manually. There's no button. As soon as it, it increases in speed, those uh, spoilers will come out automatically. This is, well, looks like a fuel tank, right? The way you open it to fill up. But this is actually just for show because remember this is a concept you guys it is a working functional concept so some of these 
details on the car don't actually work at all. They're just there for design purposes. And some of them are here for function. So it's like an interesting combination on this car. This one works, this one here on the left side, that is where you actually fill up the tank. If we get in, this is how you open the door. I've not seen this before either. Push that down and out. Look at the door, it's huge. They were like, oh, it's not heavy enough. Let's just put on really, really fat, heavy doors. Yeah, that'll do it, right, let's go. <laughs> it's not heavy enough, make it longer. It's not heavy enough, make it bigger. Make the doors weigh 80 kilos each. No, they don't, but they're really, they're really big. Back here, you've got little special compartments for the helmets that they were wearing to be able to do those speeds. One here, one here for the passenger. And the interior, you can see they have the Maybach logo here on the steering wheel. They have it here on the gear lever. So you can see that this is basically a, a Maybach. This is quite big too, isn't it? To step over this on the side of a car is quite unusual. But like if you bought a Maybach, you wouldn't see any of these kind of joins here. I mean, you know, this is, as we said, a concept. It's not meant to be absolutely perfect um, inside and out. You do see, like, this is unusual here too. This material around the center console. It's quite, it's quite weird actually. You're looking at a logo that is known to be like the ultimate luxury car, the Maybach, and um, you're not in <laughs> ultimate luxury. That's kind of an interesting juxtaposition, having this logo against you know, this kind of interior. But the purpose was the speed. The purpose was to build a car around purpose-built tires to make a heavy, heavy car go fast. And that's what they managed to do. Let's turn her on. Okay, just a key here. Oh. That's an exciting little, like, a lion giving you a warning roar. like that never heard that before this was bought for eight million dollars there are a lot of rumors about who bought it the owner is actually a private collector we're in Germany at a private airport so there are a lot of private planes taking off which is quite cool so we might get some cool shots later of that and we're allowed to drive this car down the private airstrip I just it's so weird man these kind of experiences that I get I just don't know where I'm going to find myself next and, and in what car. So <laughs> this is awesome. Race seat belts in a Maybach. Never before in my life have I seen anything like this.
It smells like you're driving a gas station. Let's just put it that way. You smell constantly fumes. So if you're one of those people that loves pulling into a gas station, winding down the window and smelling that, this car is for you. That's what you smell <laughs> all the time. And I can hardly see over the dash, to be honest with you. It's quite high and the seat is quite low. Let's see how fast she really is. Ready? An intense uh, rush. Cause what you make me feel is insane. Like a freight train. Like we do. Just to understand a little bit more about what is going on with this car, we have Pascal here. Who knows like probably the most that anyone could know about this car. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> We're gonna label you the expert today <laughs> just because we can. The whole story is based on the um, Fulda concept car from the 1930s. They wanted to have a very fast and very heavy car for full speed tests. Okay. And I mean 1938 they built a car which was able to go 200 kilometers per hour over a long distance. Wow. I mean it was not the world record car at that time because already Caracciola went over 400 kilometers but right. that was just over 10 kilometers right so and that streamliner from my bath back in the days from in 1938 um, was able to achieve 200 kilometers per hour and you that's, the, that's yeah. basically the shape of the car oh uh, okay here. right so it's kind of a reflection of the original right. Maybach made in the 30s right so Fulda and Maybach already had a joint venture back in the 30s and then they came together again right. in the early 2000s to yeah. do another one right um, you know what I find a little bit weird though like who has a goal to build tires for a fast and heavy car like it's just I mean, it my it is crazy, Why? yeah, it is, it is crazy. I mean, Fulda at that time, in 2003, the idea was born more or less. So Fulda said, okay, we want to produce a tire for really heavy and fast cars. And, um, which makes no sense to me. Which makes probably no sense. <laughs> because most fast cars, you want to try and make as light as possible, right? I mean, yeah. not as light as possible. I mean, you think about the Chiron, that's still a heavy car. Yeah, right, right. But, I mean, it generally, you try and get as many carbon fiber parts as you can to make the car lighter and faster. That's, that's right, look at the wheelbase, it's, it's insane, but... Um, in 2003, when they decided to create this tire, there was just no car uh, on the market which was able to achieve such uh, speed at the same time with a weight like that. Right. Well, thank you very much, Pascal. It's been nice to meet you, Absolutely. man. Thank you so Always much for having us here. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay. It's a bit wobbly. Um, it feels really fast because of the sound. The tires are obviously old. I think they're like you know, 14 years old. <laughs> it's not like the race or track ready today, right? But I think it's a pretty cool experience to be driving a, what is essentially a concept car down the race strip at, you know, what was I doing? Maybe 150? We've only got a kilometer here of, of race track. So tracking down a concept car that actually has a V12 engine in it and driving it where it's just been like a massive like secret up until now where this car even is so that's really really cool to me it's not the most beautiful car in the world but i appreciate the story that it has you know i like cars with a story and uh it's it's quite a unique story a whole car built around tires and not the other way around what do you think give us a quick thumbs up on the video please subscribe to the super car blondie account join the fam if you haven't already massive shout out to my super car blondie family thank you guys so so much for being here with me and of course a massive shout out to mechatronic the owners of this car um go give them some love here is the handle right now on screen go find them on instagram give them a follow <laughs>